I'm going to talk to you about fire safety in the home. And here are the essentials you'll need to have in place to ensure that you're safe and secure. Every home contains potential sources of fire. Therefore, it's essential to have at least two properly located smoke alarms, preferably one on each floor. For maximum protection, a smoke alarm should be placed in every room in the house, except for the kitchen and bathroom. It's advisable to test batteries regularly and to change them at least twice a year. A handy way to remember this is to replace batteries every time the clocks change. The ideal site for a smoke alarm is on the ceiling, at least 300 millimeters away from the walls and light fittings. If you place the alarm on a wall, ensure that it is at least 150 to 300 millimeters below the ceiling. To keep the alarms in good working order, a handy tip is to wipe the casing and slots and even vacuum the smoke alarm, as dust can sometimes clog the slots and prevent them from working properly. If you have a mains operated smoke alarm, ensure you switch off the alarm at the fuse box before cleaning. Be sure to remember to switch it back on again. Fire blankets are ideal for kitchen fires and clothing fires and they're the simplest and safest way to extinguish a cooking oil fire so for that reason they should be located within easy reach of the cooker. In the event of a cooking oil fire hold the blanket in an upright position by the two handles and place gently on the fire. And finally be sure to turn off any electricity or gas. And in the unfortunate event of someone's clothes catching fire, simply wrap the blanket around them lightly to smother the flame. Another essential fire safety item is a fire extinguisher. This powder fire extinguisher is suitable for flammable liquid and electrical fires, but it's not suitable for oil fires. You have to use a fire blanket for that. And remember, Unless a fire is quite small and manageable, please contact the emergency services and don't try to tackle it yourself. For more hints and tips, go to woodiesdiy.com.